In this video, we'll plan, create, and review business services using the Service Map Planner. First, we'll learn what planning phases are and how to create them. Next, we'll look at different ways to populate phases with planned business services. And finally, we'll create actual business services, then review and approve them. We'll also get familiar with different personas that take part in this process. To begin our planning process, we must create a phase. First, we navigate to the Phases page to create a new phase. When we populate the attributes for our new phase and click Submit, the new phase is created and added to the list of phases. To begin the actual work on creating business services, you must add planned business services to phases. There are three ways of adding planned services. Import from the CSV file. Choose this method if your organization has performed cross-organization mapping and analysis. Import from load balancers. If there is no information available about planned business services, you can use your load balancers as the source of information. Add business services manually. Use this method if you utilized other options. Let's see how to add planned business services from a load balancer. When we click Import from Load Balancer, we can see the list of entries in all load balancers configured in the instance. To import business services from one of the entries, select the entry. Or to import from all entries, select all of them. We click Import. Now we can see all imported planned business services on the phase page. To complete the process, we would open each planned business service and start the process of testing connectivity and reviewing it. We'll do this later in this video. Right now, let's look at the other way of populating a phase, importing business services from a CSV file. To import business services from a CSV file, you must prepare it as described in the product documentation. From the phase page, click Import from CSV and select the CSV file that you prepared beforehand. We can see the newly imported business services under Business Service Planning. We'll come back to these planned business services a bit later to create actual business services from them. But now we'll have a look at the last option, adding planned business services manually. Now we'll create a planned business service manually. On the Phase page, click New. Now we'll define the properties for the new planned business service, starting with the name and application owner. An application owner is a staff member who is familiar with the infrastructure and applications, reviews the mapping results of the actual business service, and provides feedback. Click the lock icon and add either yourself or another user from the list. If you define people who are not listed in your ServiceNow database, enter their email to make sure they get notifications about the changes to this planned business service. Now we need to choose a service deployment owner who is responsible for creating and fixing business services during planning. The status is set automatically. Finally, we save the form. On the Planned Entry Points tab, click New. We define the parameters for the entry point by choosing the type, entering the URL, and clicking Submit. The new entry point appears on the Planned Entry Points tab. If the entry point you want to add belongs to the type that is not part of the pre-configured CI type list, you can add it on the Other Entry Point tab with a free text description. Keep in mind that this information cannot be used for discovery. It's only for reference. Now, we are going to check connectivity of the entry points we are planning to use. This will help us identify possible problems with these entry points, even before running the actual discovery. Before we can check connectivity, we must run horizontal discovery using the discovery product on these entry points. We navigate to the service, click Check Connectivity, and enter the IP address of the entry point to check. When we click OK, the connectivity test results appear. You should verify that the status of the entry point you checked is found. This means that service mapping can connect to this host, and you can create a business service based on this entry point. At this point, we are ready to create an actual business service based on the information we collected in our planning phase. Business services in phases are only planned services. They are drafts. You're going to create actual business services based on them. The following users collaborate to create actual business services. The service deployment owner, who is responsible for creating and fixing business services during planning, and the application owner, who is familiar with the infrastructure and applications making up the service. This user provides information necessary for successful mapping of a business service. First, let's create a business service. We navigate to the planned business service we want to discover, 
and click Create and Discover. The status of the business service changes to In Discovery. When the discovery process completes, the View Map link appears on the page. You can review the map by clicking this link. Now you're ready to start the process of review and approval for this business service. Make sure that there's an application owner defined for this business service. An application owner is a staff member who is familiar with the infrastructure and applications, reviews the mapping results of the actual business service, and provides feedback. Click Send for Review. The business service status changes to In Review. At this stage, you let the application owner review mapping results and provide feedback in the form of notes on the Plan Business Service page. The application owner receives an email notification containing the direct link to the planned business service. If you are an application owner, navigate to the actual business service, click Review Map, and review it. Add your feedback as notes in the corresponding planned business service. Now the service deployment owner needs to implement the requested changes. If you are a service deployment owner, review the comments the application owner posted for you. Navigate to the actual business service and make the necessary changes. In our example, it's adding an extra entry point. Service mapping reruns discovery and updates the business service topology. If necessary, you can post a response or comments for the application owner. At this stage, the application owner reviews the fixed business service and approves it. If you are the application owner, navigate to the actual business service to verify that the changes you required are implemented. If the mapping results are satisfactory, navigate to the planned business service and click the Approve button. The status of this planned business service is now approved.